Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Show. So today, uh, back to the project, back to the V8 Turbo project. So, um, if you're new to the channel, in the right corner for you, you can find my logo, you can click on it, go to my main page, see all the other videos, and don't forget to visit jamespeedshow.com. So, last video was about the uh, Barn Find collection video. My sound was a little bit off. I used a very old camera for that, so it failed. So I have a new one, so this is in also a higher resolution. I'm now uploading at, I think it's 2.7K, uh, 60 frames. So uh, that's the highest my, uh, the software can handle on my PC without doing anything else. I can also film at 4K, 60 frames, but yeah, it's a little bit up. So if it's needed, I don't know, but normally I was filming on 1080p and now, now it's 2.7K, so it's 1440p. So you can upgrade the uh, quality of the video if you want that. You can do that in the right corner for you or right up corner on telephones. So um, what we're going to do today or in the next, in this video, you will see this in this video. I'm going to work on my headlamps. So uh, headlamp is out now. So, um, as you can see, Turbo is behind here. I found out that it is not the ideal locations now, but yeah, it's not... Yeah, I cannot change anything about it, but the best was that it was put a little bit more backwards. But in all the... but it's not really possible. They also have to put the downpipe through. I can put an air filter on it, but I want to have the biggest air filter, so yeah. Maybe it's my personal thing that I just want to have a very big air filter, of course. I'm going to make an intake uh, on it. Um, so it will have an inlet the same as that you have seen on my 190 V12. If you're not familiar to that, have a look. Uh, you can find that there are two inlets uh, through the headlamp. I'm going to do the same thing. So I bought uh, a new uh, headlamp. So this is the housing that I'm already that I'm going to use. So this is an uh, aftermarket headlamp. I have an original Bosch one, but I'm not going to drill in it. So I removed one light, the this light that is not, yeah, you don't need it. <coughs> this is your normal light. You can have uh, uh, the big and a normal beam. So uh, I bought this light in the package, so something happened, but it was already cracked. So this is not because I made a hole in it. There was already, but I could try out if it works. So what I'm going to do, this is a uh, diamond drill bit that also is used for cut and tiles for your home, for a socket connection or anything else. Works very good. Um, this I did just to try how much pressure I could put on it. Uh, this is done without, with, it was not put in a bucket of water. That's the best that I'm going, what I'm going to do, put it in a bucket of water. Then you will flush all the uh, material away from the drill and if you push too hard you can see pieces will break off on the inside so you don't want that because it needs to be as clean as possible you can see it's also here so because I did this again I know you can have a fault with it you can break a glass so I have two of these glasses already here so if I break one I have another one so what I'm going to do is I have want to have to drill a hole like this. It will be in the middle, something like this. Because here is the hood, and on this side you don't want to come because you cannot go in this area because this is the this needs to be needs to be untouched to get through regulation, so you cannot be in here. So that's what I'm going to do. What is the plan? I'm going to use this as an intake, this aluminium pipe. I think this is 80 to 90 millimeters. I think I'm not sure. Uh, I have to measure it, but it will be like this. So it will be over there. It will be in here like this. And then there will be a cover on here with a mount. And in the inside, I will make piping. So I have to remove as much as material as possible in here. Um, yeah, it will be an atmospheric open headlamp. Normally these are sealed, but yeah, I drove with those headlamps also in the rain and everything, and I never had any 
moisture on the inside of the glass. So my experience with it is that it goes very good. So that's also what I'm going to do. Uh, I will seal, of course, this end here and then there's no problem. So I'm going to set up uh, the camera and I'm going to drill a hole in it and we will see how it goes if I break it our first time. First hit is a good one. So also mention below the video what you think about my sound and about the material of the video quality. Let me know. Maybe I can change some settings. So let me know. So let's go. So let's have a go. Look at the water. <coughs> Headlamp is in there. So let's see. This is exactly the same thing I did last the last time. And you can see it by scratch the glass here a little bit. I'm going to see if I can polish it out. I'm just going to do the, I'm going to do the other one also and then take a look which one is the best. So I drilled the other one also just want to see if you can see here. You can see it in reflection of the light. Maybe push that. Don't need it. <coughs> As you can see, there's a little bit. Moved over to leather. I think this can be polished out, this fair, but this is a little bit deeper. So it's not one that I'm going to throw away. I'm going to try to polish it out, but I also tried the other one. It was outside of the camera's view. You can see with this one. This is much better. I only have one, but that will be covered. If the rest is pretty good. So I'm going to use this one. What I'm going to do now is uh, make an intake lens. It will be over like this. Something like this. So it will stick out a little bit out of the headlamp. And then make a second flange over top of it that will, will be able to mount this piece in the glass. And then there will be some sealer inside and then it will be sealed from rain. So then it's only atmospheric from the inside of the engine bay. 
because you can never close this all off it's just not completely possible i think so it's not needed because with my last headlamp i did, uh, did not have any problems with it so going to make that mounting and then uh, show you how it looks so headlamp Some small mods, so I'm going to put it together now. So, this is a very small M4, I call it in English. I don't know. Oh, here, M4, very small. Yeah, so what I did, drill two holes in it, each size, very small. Uh, didn't did the thread not all the way, so I cannot screw the bolt completely through. This is how we did it, so I can dismantle it now like this. So, that's it then. I think it looks pretty good. So, of course there will be some sealant in there and it's almost, I call it a snack in there. Snack. It's a little bit of play but it's good because then I can put some sealant in it and then when there's some vibrations it will not crack the glass. So it looks pretty good. I think it looks very nice. So let's put it... I'm going to mount it on the glass and then uh, we're going to put it in the car just to show you how it looks. So, pretty nice. So, headlamp is installed, so now you can see how it looks. It's a little bit weird with the old hood, but I think you can get a very good idea. So, it sticks a little bit out. I think it looks pretty cool. Now you can see also on the inside that I had some have some work to do. There's a turbo. So the end of this pipe is four inch. So I'm going to make something. It needs to be turned a little bit. This a little bit. It's more like this. So I'm going to make the pipe as wide as possible. So uh, that I can put the biggest air filter in it. I think this is like 20 centimeters to the beginning of the turbo housing. So that's it. That's it for the, this video. So I'm going to do it in two parts, otherwise it will be too long. I need to think about the uh, housing behind the, the lamp. So uh, I will do that. I have some four inch aluminum pipe laying around. I'm going to do something with that. So be pretty cool so thanks for watching if you got any questions about this uh this hole in the headlamp then put some comments below the video like it and subscribe if you like this channel will be very cool with the s 24 turbo project let me know what you think about it right corner if you have a logo you can click on it see all the other videos don't forget to go to jamespeechup.com thanks for watching see you for the next one bye bye